What's up, guys? If you are into music reaction channels that are honest, raw, and authentic, look no further. You found your destination. It is the Taz and Philly Show. Welcome to our journey. And make sure that you subscribe below and enjoy the show. <laughs> What is good, you sexy son of a gun? It is Philly. That is Taz. It's the Taz and Philly Show, and we are back with another reaction video. What is good, everybody? It is Philly and Taz from the Taz and Philly Show, and we are back with another Ren reaction video, but it will be a collaboration of a cover we have ren and chinchilla and they are doing a cover of two high-ranking officials in the illuminati one of them is drake one of them is beyonce now here's what's funny this is supposed to be a cover call me um i don't know um dumb for not knowing this call me dumb. ignorant for not knowing this Ignorant. But I don't know this song. I don't know if I know this song. I don't believe I know this song. It doesn't sound familiar. I don't even know if it's two songs because it says one dance slash drunken love, a Drake Beyonce cover. So we were discussing off air how we don't, I don't know what this is. I didn't even know they did a, a collaboration together. And um, I know that Taz typically likes covers, but the problem is, he doesn't know the original, so he's gonna be—it's gonna be like it's new to him, and it's gonna probably be new to me too. So, um, don't yeah. know what to expect. I mean, you know, they're kind of like one's a rap artist, one's kind of an R&B star. I mean, I guess technically Ren could do that because he can sing and he can rap, and obviously we've done uh, a reaction video with Chinchilla before, uh, Crossroads, which was really good. So I'm not sure what we're getting here, but uh, I'm excited to check it out. I know that Taz has a. Uh, shout out he wants to give because this definitely was a subscriber request and uh i will turn it over to him again guys it is ren and chinchilla a, a drake beyonce cover one dance slash drunk in love taz give your shout out and uh we'll get into it all right um thank you to the subscriber who recommended this um this is to paul durant i hope i'm saying it right so paul durant you had requested this song and um, he says it's very good. So Paul, this Kevin one is for you. I want to know if Paul's brother is Kevin. Kevin Durant is a hell of a basketball player. Paul, tell <laughs> me. Tell me it's Kevin is your brother. And please invite him to our channel. No, but thank you, Paul. We do appreciate <laughs> it. Um, if, you, if that is your brother or somebody in your family, hell of a basketball player. If it's not... Thank you anyway for being here, and thank you for your request. And still invite, invite your brother to the channel. Yes, and still invite him to the channel. Uh, but we will stop blabbing, and we will get into this cover that we don't know anything about. <laughs> <laughs> and Red and Chinchilla, let's go. Let's do this. Ooh, I like that little twisty sound. It's all that I'm wishing for my friends Nobody makes it from my end I came to bust out the silence You know you've got to stand by me When you see the text, reply me I ain't got no time to be Better outside, okay Ain't got no time Cause Time for a 
Oh, I know this song. I started kick I started catching it. different from the original and i it's funny because i didn't realize what it was by name and then i started to realize what song that was but they made that so so much their own like it was a cover no doubt but i mean you could just there was so many differences in that song uh but they, they got really really unique voices both of them um yes. like his voice is really pretty unique i don't know how you, even how you describe that pitch that he has but it's just i can't think of anybody that he really sounds anything like um and her voice is very cool too. They got a lot of texture behind their vocals, and they blend well together. It was a, it was a beautiful rendition for sure. I think he's unique to us because he sings with his accent. And it's not, not the accent, accent part of it though. Then how it's can not... we? How can I not unhear it though? You know what I no, mean? No, like... I I hear you. I do. I, I'm not talking about. You're right. The accent, sure, but I'm talking about like the tone of his of his vocals. Just not the fact that he has that he speaks in a british accent it's not the accent part i'm speaking of i don't i don't know how to exactly describe it like just the you know i don't have to say a word but if i went ha, 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 like just doing just giving you the like it's the sounds of his vocals that he's able to that range that pitch that sort of like cracking that he does it almost sounds like he's not crying but he just i don't know how to, i don't know it's just something very unique to me about it i know what you mean though yeah like that um I don't know if there's an actual musical term for it, but yeah, that that 
like high pitch part of his voice. Like you said it you said it it almost sounds like a cry. Um but I don't know. Everybody knows what we're talking about. Maybe there's if there's a word for it, like a, a unique word for it, tell us. But as long as you know what we mean. But yeah, he has that, and I don't think anybody can have that because, uh, especially when it's in tune, his is in tune. Um, and then Chinchilla, I only heard her one time, and that's when we did the um, reaction to Ren and Chalk Chinchilla. Outlines. Chalk but, outline. Yes. So it was nice to hear her again. She also has a unique voice, um, which I love it as well. Um, and they have a really good chemistry. You know, mm-hmm. I I'm really into attention to detail because I'm in like web design and everything like that so like like i look for her like she's so graceful with her hands when she sings she moves her hands a certain way or if the microphone's there she holds it a certain way and to me like that that makes me feel like they're really feeling the song because yeah. some singers have said when they sing a song they say that it comes out through their fingertips and like when you know that you believe it because like they'll extend their hand like it's actually like the song is like trying to burst out of their body and I appreciate stuff like that. Um, and Ren's so powerful, too. Like, he was tearing that guitar up. And, I mean, like, I, they really were a good collab together. Um, it was nice to see them outside. That's what's called um, busking, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's – exactly. Um, which I've seen a lot of other artists do it, too. You know, you got some of them that do it, like, in subways. You know, places where you can get, like, good vocals and good, like, echoes and stuff like that. But what's interesting about that whole thing is I don't know, like, where they shot that or what time of the day or night that really was. But, like, you know, it wasn't like it was in front of a huge audience. But the people that were watching it, you know, do they realize that they're kind of witnessing, you know, kind of greatness? I mean, I'm assuming that he's pretty well known there, or at least I would think people know who he is. But yet he did that right in front of, like, it only seemed like a few people. So still pretty cool, though. What a, what a cool experience to be able to see that just out of nowhere because – I don't know if he's like, hey, I'm going to be in so-and-so and at 9 o'clock at night and I'm going to sing. Or he just they just randomly show up to a spot and they start. And then people walking by are just like, holy yeah. shit, look what I'm seeing here. But Yeah, we don't know. Let us know in the comments, please. It's just like the beginning stages of Ren. Because I used to think when people were busking, that was their beginning stages. Like they were trying to become known. They were trying to make, you know, some spare change. But... I found out a while ago, some people who are already established go, you know, they go back to their roots where it started and they'll do busking. That's how I found out about uh, Jesse J. Like, I love me some Jesse J. And she was already established and everything, but she went back to the subway down in the, the underground subway and she started busking and stuff. And she was already well known, but people didn't know her at the time because I don't think she was, she was in New, New York. So it wasn't, she wasn't going back to new york where she came from but she was going back to busking and subways and she was just so amazing everybody stopped there was one person that didn't even get on the train the train was coming and they're like wait a minute (laughs) and they turned around and she started singing the acoustics in the subway i know are amazing yeah um but he had the whole setup and everything out there so like that was really really cool um so thank you paul for suggesting this um we appreciate it and this was another song that Philly and I have never seen before, so I really, really liked it. What about you? Yeah, and I, like I said, I know I, I kind of said I didn't think you and I knew what the song was prior. Like, that just didn't stick out. But then, you know, kind of hearing the chorus a little bit, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know what that song is. And I can appreciate how you could tell what it was once you listened to it, but they made it so much their own. It was unique to that, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and, like I, and I just think they're, they harmonize well together and their voices go well together and – I believe they have other collabs together, and I don't think it's just a couple. So, you know, all the Ren fans, all the Chinchilla fans, let us know. You know, let us know what other ones to get into because um, right. this Ren sort of journey has been all over the map, and they're, the songs are so different from one another, but they're so cool. He's a very unique artist. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that he's not more popular than he is, and I know he's gaining in some traction and steam more recently, um, and maybe at some point he really will blow up, but, like, you know, when you're a really, really, really a popular artist, whether you're British, whether you're American, it doesn't really matter. Like people know you, you know what I mean? Like there are Britain or British, I should say, uh, acts that are very popular here, just like there's American acts that are very popular there and all over the world. And I don't know if Ren is as well known as he probably should be because he's a pretty talented dude. So I'm sure we'll be looking forward to seeing some more of his stuff. And uh, 
That's all. That's all I got to say. You got some more that you want to, to to talk about before we get into rating it? I just wish Ren the best. I mean, I think somebody said he recently had surgery, so you know, oh. uh, I wish him the best. If if for some reason he sees this or somebody lets him know, you know, we sincerely wish him the best. Um, not not just because of his musical talent, um, but just the fact that you know he's so mm-hmm. young and you know what got him sick wasn't anything doing of his own um and he's just an all-around good person and he has great messages which means he cares about others he's not just singing about any old thing you know he actually has stuff that helps people and uplifts people so to have that type of character and caring this for such a young person is so mature and on top of him going through this and he's still putting stuff out there so i just wish him the very best in health and in success because he deserves both to be going in the right direction. So that's well, all I have to say about that. You'll be happy to know that he put out a uh, um, an update that he had some surgery and it went well and he was feeling better and he has Good. new music that's going to be coming out soon, but it got delayed a little bit because of the surgery. And he said okay. the only thing he's got going on right now is his face is a little bit swollen but it's okay because it's like negative whatever the hell negative something degrees where he's at and it's like walking out with ice packs on his face so it's helping his swelling he made like a joke about it so um sounds like he's doing pretty good but yeah i mean i thought it was great like liked it a lot and uh we really do appreciate um you know the the suggestion because uh it's um it's cool to hear these new songs and just and, and kind of go down these different journeys of, uh, you know, just, just different. I mean, Chinchilla never would have found her, you know, Ren never probably would have found him if it wasn't for you guys. So appreciate it very, very much. And, uh, I guess we'll get into rating it here and we'll move on to the next reaction video. But before we do, we got a two rating system here. Uh, we're going to rate on this song by Ren and Chinchilla, the cover of Drake and Beyonce, and it's going to be ass or pass. Anybody new to the channel, uh, two rating system, like I said, thumbs up, thumbs down. It's either ass or pass. And uh, everybody that has been here and has been to this channel before, you know the drill. So, Taz, without further ado, show everybody those counting skills, and I will drum roll for everybody. And here we go. And three, two, one. One for Ren. One for Chinchilla. Oh, yeah. Bay, one for Chinchilla. Bay, 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 Glad you said that. There we go. Bay, 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 there we go. We got all yes. of them here. And those all things right. are so huge. That's like four thumbs. So it's called we got, a man's thumb. You got four thumbs That's from up. eating your vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. You're eating your vegetables. Well, congratulations on your vegetable eating and uh, <laughs> the size of your thumbs. So uh, for, <laughs> from, from Taz's thumbs and myself, we really do appreciate you guys uh, being here and uh, keeping those requests coming. Um, you know, like we keep saying, you guys are going to direct where the channel goes. Uh, we want to provide the best content we can and the music that you guys want to hear us react to. So thank you again. You could be anywhere in the world and you are here with us for the last 18, 19 minutes watching this. And we couldn't appreciate you more for that. So I am Philly. That is Taz. It is the Taz and Philly show. And we will be back soon with another reaction video. Peace. And take it easy and keep it breezy.